Modern day survival. Is there such thing as modern day survival? Well, there really is. And now I am out paddling and I'm in a pretty remote area. These are the, the monarchs, uh, which are um, in Montana. And I'm on a very expansive lake system. And when we talk about survival, um, you know, many times we right away reach for the easiest convenient electronic uh, when we're in a predicament. In fact, I put up not too long ago a video uh, where I said I was lost. Well, I really wasn't like lost, lost. It was not a, a situation where I was in the middle of nowhere. Um, you know, like, like I am now, this is, this is really a remote area. And although there is a road nearby, it would take a couple miles to get to it. And yes, on this lake, there are some boats, occasional boats. But if something would happen, I would need to really be prepared. It's not like me getting um, messed up on a logging road that I know it was going to come out sooner or later. Uh, but when I do these excursions, I really do pack appropriately. And today, because I am in an area that I do know, uh, I bring certain items with me. Now, certain items are modern day. I'm very resistant to doing electronics, but in this area, believe it or not, there really is cell phone coverage. And although I really hate to do it, I will grab my cell phone. But even though this is a modern day electronic, I certainly don't leave myself open to any type of risk with that cell phone. So I still bring my compass, I still bring my first aid kit, and I bring all the essentials that I need in case something happens out here. But one of the things I do bring with me, that is a essential item that will keep my electronics running is this. Solar panels. Alternative. Now I know there are tons of probably portable solar panel kits out there that will charge your cell phones and your electronic items, but I, I, I'll just I'll just go through why I like this particular brand. It's called Suwako. Uh, I hope I said that right. Um, Suwako.com, and I'll leave a little link in there too. Suwako.com, and in fact, I think I even have a a discount code that you can use if you're interested in it. But the reason why I chose this one is, uh, number one, it's sturdy. It's tough. Um, it folds up really small and I can put it right into my pack. And if you notice the outside, it's not flimsy. This is not because it's just rough and tough and well made because you can see, look at this, it has this denier uh, covering on it. It's not flimsy. You know, the buckles, the stitching, everything on it is impressive. Uh, look at the USB port. This is not a flimsy USB port at all. Look real closely. Some of them are really flimsy, but this one actually, I mean, look at this. I put my charger in here and this is just as good as the ones at home. It's tough. It's, it's really on there. The, I mean, look at this. And then each solar panel is stitched in there. So really be careful when you're on Amazon and you start looking at these solar chargers. For the most part, many are, are, are so flimsy. And they're really expensive. This one's affordable and it's well made for those mountain adventures, for stuffing in your backpack when you're mountain biking, for stuffing in your hiking pack and not having to, uh, worrying about it getting torn or ripped or, or because it's too fragile. This baby is not fragile. I'll put it on top of my kayak and I will simply plug in my set now it is a hundred percent and it didn't take long for me to charge my Android and that's the other thing it doesn't take long at all and you know this is just another backup plan so that you don't get caught in the wilderness with your electronic because yeah, again I hate electronics I really do but in certain situations you bring them and you know what, when that battery goes dead, it's dead. And you can put in another battery, and what happens if that goes dead? I've done this before. I have done this before, and that's why I have learned to purchase certain items for my 
my, my packs that I bring in. So dependent on, on the area, I will bring this solar charger. Now today I'm out on the lake. I know there's cell coverage and I like to have my phone with me and therefore this comes with me. Uh, a lot of the times if I'm in an area where there's no cell phone coverage, I won't even bother. I won't. I'll just bring my camera and bring my first aid and, and my other pack that, that you know, will get me into the wilderness area and then I'm relying more on my compass and all that. But really, on a serious note, you have to be prepared for every excursion that you go on that is going to bring you into the wilderness where if you think that you aren't going to be receiving help within an hour, you should be having uh, a pack full of essential items. And again, if you are relying on some type of electronic device why not have alternative energy to charge your device free all day long, right? Forget about the extra batteries. Just get yourself a solar charger. All right, again, this is the company right here. And it's got the green light. Look at that. And I'll do a link. And I think, actually, I might even have a coupon code for you guys to get uh, a little bit of money off. Uh, this is probably one of the most affordable uh, solar uh, packs that I have seen in a long time. And like I said, I like it because it's tough and it actually works. All right. See, on a serious note, I, I always tell people, I know sometimes it's fun and games with Starry and I'm off wandering around the logging roads. But truly, um, my background is extensive when it comes to wilderness survival and medical preparedness. And I'm being serious in this video. Um, you really have to have a list and cross out every item that you really think you're going to need when, when, you, when you go out into that wilderness. Be prepared. Be prepared even in modern day times.